Namaste everyone, welcome back to Tech Loop again. So in today's video, we are diving into the top 5 smartphone browsers you should actually be using in 2025. Whether you care about speed, privacy, extensions or clean UI, I have got something for everyone. And no, I am not ranking them because let's be real talk. Different browsers work better for different people. And let's start with Brave. It's Chrome based so it runs fast like Chrome but with built-in tools that block ads, trackers, fingerprinting and even upgrade size to HTTPS automatically. You don't need any extra extensions, Brave Shields does it all for you. And it also offers private tips with Tor, sync without login using keys and even supports Web3 features like crypto wallet and decentralized domains. Maybe it's not useful for some users or like uh, crypto related things so you can just ignore it. And also Chrome have some advanced feature but you need to pay for those one. But if you are normal user then uh, free tire is a good, you don't need to upgrade. So if you are a privacy focused person then Brave is uh, totally for you. But sometimes I notice that some sites um, may break because of uh, aggressive ad blocking or uh, tracking. So you need to turn off uh, shield for those sites. So yeah, that's uh, a point you need to remember that. Let's talk about Google Chrome, the most popular browser on Android. It comes pre-installed on most devices, making it go-to choice for many users. Built on Chromium, Chrome delivers fast performance in smooth browsing. It integration with Google services ensure seamless syncing of bookmarks, passwords and history across devices. Chrome security is good with features like Google Safe Browsing to protect against phishing and malware. The browser also benefits from regular security updates and a built-in password manager with strong encryption. Chrome's major downside is its reliance on Google's data collection. It tracks browsing activity for ads and user profiling, which can feel irritating or invasive. Additionally, its integration with Google services leads to frequent ads and prompts, and even you can't even block ads too. Chrome is a more uh, resource heavy browser consuming more RAM and battery especially with multiple tabs open and this one is specially for uh, all devices for most of the new devices can easily handle the Chrome. Overall, Chrome is a fast and reliable but if privacy and minimal tagging matters to you, consider alternatives. So Opera. Opera is a highly capable Android browser loaded with features. It includes built-in ad blocker and tracker blocker for better privacy without being too aggressive like Brave, allowing some redirection so pass through for a smoother browsing experience. You can also set up custom DNS specially for Opera so your device's global DNS settings remain untouched. Opera's built-in VPN ensures privacy while browsing and it only applies to the browser, meaning you don't have to adjust your entire network. Also, it has some advanced uh, VPN network features but you need to pay for it. But don't go for it. The default one the free one is already good for video lovers opera offers a native video player and its minimalistic ui provide a clean distraction free experience with opera flow you can seamlessly sync content and share links between mobile and desktop another great feature is dark website in dark mode which provides more comfortable browsing experience at night and uh, i like one feature which is a uh, tab bar you can customize whether it is showing top or bottom so many browser has this feature i want to just uh, match it here also opera provides data saver things and uh, also opera provides a smoother experience on older devices like especially i found this in my device because it's Redmi five plus and it's a uh, six years old devices but uh, still opera feels lightweight while Opera is a feature is its connection to Chinese ownership may raise a privacy concerns for some users. You know why I'm talking about this. However, with its uh, privacy tool, customization options and smooth browsing experience, Opera is certainly a good choice for Android users. Let's talk about Mozilla Firefox. It has a one general feature which I already talked about in earlier video like a head blocker, tracker blocker and uh, privacy related things like set, uh, set up a custom DNS. But there is a one special feature which uh, I like is uh, extension support on the Android. Especially in smartphone, it's very rare to give an extension support only as few browsers are supported like uh, Kiwi and Mozilla Firefox. So if you want to open the world for extension, then this is the good for you. So you can try it because uh, in a uh, world of extension, there is uh, so many features like uh, error blocking and uh, tons of features you can try anything so if you are an extension lover then this is for you now here's the some honorable mentions vivaldi browser 
it has so many customization options also some options like a ad blocker text blocker also available there but especially it focused on customization like you can customization uh, main menu on screen and a bar and so many other things too and i never used the samsung internet browser but i heard about user something it has a his own fan base so if you like a uh, samsung stuff then it is for you and there are some browsers like uh, dubdubgo which uh, privacy focused it uh, do not track the user and ad blocking related things too and also there is a tor browser which is also you can uh, be anonymous for the what so these are some vulnerable mentions so this is not uh, more about users and people are uh, saying around uh, about the browsers this is more about uh, my analysis like which browser i feel uh, good or uh, which features i like most so this is my analysis and if you had any other browsers like uh, you can use uh, entirely then you can share with me so write down comment below if you had any good browser and you like it that that one so that's it for this video and if you really find anything useful in this video then you can like this video and uh, you can share with your friends and also check out our telegram channel and telegram groups ids are showing on the display and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you really want to do and that's it for today as to such a very tricky